Hello guys and welcome back to Hustle with Z. My name is Denise and today I want to teach you how to play Chengdu Mahjong. Let's go! Mahjong was a relatively modern game that was developed in the mid to late 1800s around the Yangtze River Delta. By the end of the 1800s, it was spreading in popularity in China but mostly only in specific urban centers like Shanghai and Beijing. Chengdu is known as the leisurely city. On every block of Chengdu and around every corner you'll be able to find inexpensive tea houses to pass night and day playing mahjong and sipping tea. In Chengdu, Sichuan mahjong is played religiously. First, you'll need to familiarize yourself with mahjong tiles. There are three suits. In each suit, there are tiles from one to nine, and each tile has a set of four identical tiles. The three suits are the characters, that's called one, the circles, that's called tong, and the bamboos, that's called tiao. The objective of the game is simple. You're trying to collect three of a kind of the same suit and runs of three of the same suit. To win, you'll need four groups of three, either three of a kind or a run of three, and one two of a kind. For example, a winning hand would be two one circles as a pair, two seven circles as a pair, three six circles as a pack, three four five circles as a pack, a winning card will either be one or seven. Shuffling and dealing. At the beginning of the game, the pieces are shuffled and stacked into lines. Nowadays, usually done with the machine. Everyone rolls the dice to decide who goes first or the winner of the last round goes first. From whoever rolled the dice, count counterclockwise to decide which stack to start pulling tiles from. Once you find which stack to start from, the lower number of the two dice determines where in that stack you start pulling tiles from. Each player pulls tiles four at a time until you have 12 tiles. Then whoever started takes two tiles, jumping over one tile, and everyone else takes one tile, choosing a suit and discarding tiles. Take a look at your hand you must choose only two suits to go for and discard all of the tiles of the third suit. For example, you have six circles, four characters and three bamboos. In this case, you'll usually choose the suit with less tiles. But once you decide to discard a certain suit, there is no going back. If you choose to discard bamboo, then every time you get a bamboo, you'll just discard it even if that is the only suit you draw for the rest of the game. For the first round, everyone decides which tile to discard first and places it face down on the table. This levels the playing field a little because everyone needs to decide which two suits to go for before seeing which suit the other players are discarding. After everyone does this, the person who started reveals the discarded tile and the next player takes a tile and reveals his or her discarded tile. In the next round, it is simply take a tile, discard a tile. Pong and Gong If you have two tiles that are the same, then you can Pong when someone discards the third one. Take the discarded tile and show everyone your three of a kind. If you have three of a kind and see the fourth one, then it's the same rule but say Gong. It counts as a set of three. This gives you a set of three and then play continues from you. Discard a tile and your turn is over. Ending a game. Usually you'll have 13 tiles in your hand, but to win you'll need 14. If you are one tile away from winning, this is called Jiao. If you draw a tile that will give you a winning hand or someone discards it, you just take it. Place that last tile face up and the rest of your tiles face down. The other three players continue till the end. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. If you did, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and I'll see you soon.